Welcome back to Power Plus's product training session. Today we're going to talk about the Magic Plus, typically known as a Type 2 here in the Ontario funding system. Uh, but this is a folding aluminum chair. The type of aluminum that we use is 7000 series aluminum aircraft uh, aluminum, which allows for the chair to be a lighter weight. So when we typically look at the Magic Plus, we're, depending on your configuration, the size of the chair, type of arms, wheels, and all these kind of things, the average weight is about 31 to maybe 32 pounds. So that gives you an idea how much the chair weighs. So the first thing that we look at is the adjustability of the chair when we compare it to other chair offerings in our line. Uh, we have lesser adjustability in the Magic Plus simply because of the category that it falls in. So the rear axle here is a vertical rear axle which has vertical adjustability in through the wheel. If I take the wheel, I won't take the wheel off. But it has vertical adjustability and we're also able to take the rear axle and move it in a forward position or in a rear position. And, and what we're trying to achieve in through this is, is to create a very tight footprint so when we turn the chair, it turns within a really confined area. Now if we have somebody that's taller, somebody that's bigger, and we want to increase the stability of the chair, what we're going to do is we're going to take the rear axle, move it to the rear, take our front journals, which are removable and adjustable, and put them in a forward position as opposed to a trailing position. And what I mean by that is the journal sits behind inside the frame, we can take it where it sits in front of the frame. So there's plenty full of adjustability in, in, on this chair. Seat to floor heights are very important with any type of chair. Power Plus is known for their extreme low seat to floor heights of 20 of 12.25 inches. And what I mean by seat to floor height is the measurement from the seat rail right down to the seat floor. That's what we're, we're measuring our seat to floor height. So depending on what type of cushion you're on, uh, you know, it may affect your finish of the chair. The, um, along the lines of seat to floor height, you have to take into consider the wheel, wheel configuration. So we're able to get a 12 and a quarter seat to floor height by achieving it through with 20 inch rear wheels and five inch casters in the front. Now this has 22s and sixes on it. So it's just a little smaller than that but we're still allowing the end user to reach back on the hand rims and hand propel the chair uh, once they have that rear seat to floor height. And also, if you're going down, down that low, I'm assuming that you're looking to foot propel um, as well. So hand foot propulsion, the combination of the two works very, very well with this chair. Now, if we come to the rear of the chair over here and we take a look at the rear backings, our standard backing height ranges anywhere from 14 to 18 and no charge. Uh, sorry, so 14 to 21, and then if you want to go taller than that, just specify, and then we'll we'll make sure that we make it accordingly. We manufacture everything in house here, so almost anything is possible. The rear canes also have angle adjustability, so you'll see a bracket in through here with a bunch of bolts. If I remove the bolts, I can angle the back another five degrees, ten degrees, or fifteen degrees. Those are the three positions that we're allowed to open up your back angle. Now on this particular chair, we have a tension back upholstery, so I can't adjust where the back is going to be. I can only adjust the tension of the sling in it. So I probably want to open up my hip angle with the, with the rear back canes because there isn't a modular back where I can adjust it and so forth. The chair also has anti-tippers, uh, and that's a standard feature for all of our chairs. It's a must. You have to have anti-tippers on the chair. These anti-tippers are no tools, so if I pull this trigger, I can adjust the height of it. And the benefit of that is if you have somebody that's pushing your loved one or a caregiver pushing the client and they need to get over an obstacle, they can just simply flip up the anti-tipper, get over the obstacle. Once they get onto that, they can pull the anti-tipper back down and lock it into its position that, that's, that is needed. When I roll around here to the arm configuration, actually if we take a look at the rear here just one more time, um, you'll notice that the arms wrap behind the back hands here. That allows us to have a very narrow configuration uh, with the chair. So by tightening up the arms, we can tighten up the wheels and we can have a narrow, narrower, uh, a narrower chair. So this is what we call a wraparound arm behind the back hand. This is a standard feature for our two-point flip back arm. And when I flip that back, you'll notice how that stays in that position. It doesn't swing all the way down. It doesn't come off as easy. It stays with the chair. 
Why do we need a flip back arm? In order to do a side transfer on the unit. So if we roll around here to the side of the chair, you'll see that the chair latches in through a receiver here and when we latch it in, it's very sturdy. There isn't a rattle on the chair and that's very important to a lot of people, including myself. Uh, the height adjustability of the chair, there's a trigger mechanism right here, which I'm going to adjust the height and I'm going to lock the height. So again, no tools, easy for anybody to use. We come down to the braking system. This is what we call a push to lock braking system. We have the option of a pull to lock. It looks a little different from this. The braking system is aluminum. And again, that we're trying to reduce the weight of the overall weight of the chair by putting lighter components on it. The front rigging of the chair has a one latch system. So it's really easy to trigger and it swings out and locks in and it also swings inward as well. So if you don't have the overall space to swing the front rigging out, we could swing them in, your client could forward transfer out of the chair. Last but not least, weight capacities in the chair are 250 pounds standard. They will go up to a maximum of 600 pounds. We stock colors that are black and silver and you are able to get any other color. Just need to specify it, but it is a one week lead time if we're gonna custom uh, a color for you. Um, and as far as the widths and depths, it goes 14 to 18 wide standard, 14 to 18 deep. If you go anything beyond that, so we can go 30 wide on the chair with it still folding. Anything beyond that, we have to rigidize it. And we can also go up to 24 deep through customization. Thank you very much.